work so hard to find this button. There you are. I have to be recording now. It says recording. It literally says it's recording. What if I think I'm recording and then I get through the whole thing and realize I'm not even recording? How the fuck do I stabilize? Yikes. Oh, no. Can't. Okay. I got a problem. Wait, maybe if I. Okay, less with pro Well, now I just got a different problem. Okay, I wonder if it's really recording. Let me, like, update. <clears throat> I have not figured out how to figure this out, obviously. I was trying to be disciplined and wait to eat until. Fuck, this jalapeno is hot. So. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is terrible. Like, I'm already thinking about, like, I want this to be a wellness channel and such. Here I am. Episode one. Smashing it. Smashing, like, inhaling. It down most pizza. <laughs> we don't know each other that well yet. So I'm not going to get into that, but point is, when I'm hungover, oh baby, <laughs> anything goes. Like, the pizza is not supposed to be part of this video. I actually just needed to eat, but apparently y'all like to watch people eat, so. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> I don't want another piece of pizza. Oh my god. <laughs> um, not to get off track to start, but like, do you guys? Okay, so when I first moved into my apartment, I had hired a handyman and he was getting paid by the hour. And by the second day, I realized that he had been there like, been working like eight hour days at my house. We were kicking it, basically. Like, he was just milking the situation. I'm like, Oh no, oh no, no, no. I gotta go buy some power tools. So more of the story, <laughs> by the time that these bar stools came, I had got rid of the handyman and I got to put shit together myself. But um, she's a little janky because of it. So that, that's why that is. <clears throat> is that my first story time? <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, thank you guys for being here during my first YouTube video. Also like, obviously, or not obviously, do you guys know this is my first video? I feel like you know. But in the future, can you imagine future me watching this video? Like, hold on, I need to give myself a message. <clears throat> Dear future me, bitch I told you you could, I fucking told you, I told you and you did it, and now look at you. Okay, <laughs> that's my message. Anyway, it's trial and error. This is my first trial, so there will be a lot of errors. Bear with me now. Stay with me now. Okay. I think I want another piece of pizza. Just... Today's video is the top five reasons why I moved to Atlanta in the middle of a motherfucking pandemic at that, across the country, where I didn't know a soul, all alone, me and my cats. Okay, but for real, it's a thing that happened. Um, yeah, basically like a lot of people I haven't even like publicly announced I mean, obviously most people know that I moved here But I didn't like make like an Instagram post like with my keys and stuff. I really this is my I moved to Atlanta Video this is a good video to anybody who's considering um, Moving or just like making a transition in their life to switch things up. Maybe this will motivate you um, In general, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to hustle and motivate I can't just read it like if you were thinking about moving do it <laughs> don't obsess over a perfect plan because there is too many unknowns just focus on taking that next step apply pressure and step on your own neck sis I did write some good shit I wrote this script like a long time ago I'm not gonna lie now we don't let my personality shine through <laughs> all few of them it's so weird to even say that on camera. I probably will cut that out because it's just like I'm being vulnerable and people can use that against me. But fuck y'all. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Reason number one. Minnesota was not it. It literally was just not it for me. But I'll also say like moving away definitely gave me like a special appreciation for home. However, 
first off it's cold as a bit like it's one degree there right now one one single degree back home like and it's snowing it's snowing that's that's like that's enough like it just reason number one why i moved to atlanta was because minnesota was just never it for me i i always knew that i wanted to leave and I actually got a job with Delta and I started traveling a lot and um, in all those travels in the back of my mind the whole time I'm like thinking of, like trying to find a place not like it's you know like I was trying to find a place that I could maybe move to but not like desperately seeking but it's just kind of like how people are looking for a relationship like they're not looking but they're open to it that's where I was about um, moving. So I wasn't like actively looking for a place to move, but in the back of my head, I knew that I was in the market. At some point I would be. Um, so yeah, Minnesota was not it. It was snowy. And another huge reason is, Minnesotans don't be mad at me because I still love y'all, but there, there's no diversity. Um, there's, I don't want to say there's none, but there wasn't enough diversity for me personally like in my job i was always the only person of color there's lack of diversity it was cold um and people were just it, it was so weird like okay where i went to high school it was like you went to school there your parents went to school there your grandparents went to school there and you guys all still live in the same town like nobody comes or goes from minnesota like literally nobody Nobody is on some I'm going to Minnesota this weekend and nobody in Minnesota is trying to move like it's a very stagnant place like There just wasn't the opportunities that I wanted. I felt like I could only grow so far and I honestly Started making a lot of moves young. So, you know I'm 26 now. Yikes. Um, but I feel like I like capped out there like it was just not much more for me to do that i hadn't done and i don't know it just i felt like i outgrew it to be honest um that's my first reason minnesota was not it but i still love, love minnesota it's a beautiful place to raise a family um it's just mm -mm. Mm -mm. okay number two timing like the timing was just right like it just worked so i officially moved here in october basically i had lost my job due to the pandemic like many other people so i didn't have a job holding me back school i had one semester left of school and it was going online so therefore i was free from like school obligations because I finished my last semester online. Um, your girl got out of a toxic relationship. I got out of a toxic, toxic relationship. Um, so I was single. Um, there was no man holding me back. There was no job holding me back. There was no school holding me back. Um, so I kind of just had the ability to, you know, I didn't have things holding me down or holding me back. Um, also, I had saved up more money than I ever had in my entire life like I was stacked up so I kind of had the financial resource to go um and then also like my lease okay so like the my current lease I loved okay I used to live in a lofts and artist lofts and I literally loved my place and so like at the end of my lease every time I always wanted to I, I would consider moving but I'm like from here to where like literally i i will even say confidently like in my opinion like i had the best i loved my place i didn't feel like there was anywhere better than there for me besides i knew i was either gonna buy a house or move out of state from there which i'm still gonna do i knew i was gonna do both it was just a matter of which one i was gonna do first so my lease had ended in september actually Okay, so let me give the timeline. So June or July, I started to actually think about moving. Like, I really started to think about moving to Atlanta. In August, I found my apartment and I signed for September 1st. 
by October 1st, I was down here full time. So it happened really fast. Um, yeah, and I just, the timing was right. Like I, there was nothing holding me back. I felt like if not, if I don't take this opportunity now, like then when? You know, I didn't really have expectations when I came here. I mean, I felt like the worst thing that could happen is I would have to move home for the most part. So I just was like, fuck it, I'm gonna try it. See, see what happens, maybe, maybe it'll stick. Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna spend the rest of my life here, but I think that I will always have property here and I'm glad with my mood, I'm happy with my mood. So number two, timing. Number three, the culture. Okay, so this is more so the first two were kind of like why I left. Um, you know what? This is the top five reasons why I moved to Atlanta, and I realized I only have three. Yikes. Okay, we're gonna go with the top three then. Anyways, um, culture. The culture, it's just so nice to be with my people, man in so many ways like for example if you see a person of color a male of color pushing a benz in minnesota he's basically a drug dealer like as far as anyone's concerned um here tsh, these boys pushing rolls royces whole time lawyers doctors mayors like pilots like literally they could be anything and anyone and it's a thing here <laughs> like black excellence is a thing here it's a very well-known thing like i even think about it when i'm like out and i'm like wow i'm like among so many like black millionaires and things like that like that's not in minnesota like i don't see that and, the, and it's motivating like it's motivating like i'm a hustler at heart so when I see other people doing well, I, I'm coming with you. I'm coming with you. Um, so yeah, it, it's just so much motivation here. Um, it makes me feel like, it gives me hope. It gives me hope for my future, for myself. And um, yeah, I think that that hope, I, the hope that it gives me, I hope to give to my family and my siblings and such like that so that they see like if my sister can do it then i can do it if my sister can you know make it i can make it you know so yeah my siblings are definitely a big um motivation for me um in a lot of things that i do because i want them to know they can be done now we will take a pizza break <laughs> I like to watch people eat, right? <laughs> How do people do mukbangs? Like, aren't you like not supposed to talk while you're chewing with your mouth full? Like, I honestly definitely like talk with food in my mouth. I just realized because I was like, hmm, I can't do that right now. Cause y'all about to judge me and everything I do. So fuck it, yeah, I'ma just chew with my mouth. Talk. Well, I'm chewing anyways, because y'all gonna judge me either way. If it's not this, it's gonna be something else. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I had that moment. Back to the culture. Um, bro, down to the ground that I'm walking on. Like, do you know who walked these grounds? Legends. Like, literally, so many great. The energy. It was the energy for me. Um, yeah, like I'm like right down the street from Martin Luther King's house, or in the house that he was born in. To go there, like energy. That's it. That's it. Ooh, I got a reason number four. All right. Um, location geographically. Um, the weather. It don't snow here. It's winter right now and I can still go outside like mm, 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 mm. and it's crazy because like in my head last winter I'm like this gonna be my last winter this is the last winter I'm dealing with this shit like it was way too motherfucking cold literally and little did I know 
It really was my last winter. Yeah, I'm gonna stop being so weird. Like, am I even really this weird? I swear I'm not even normally this weird. I think I'm just doing nervous weird stuff. Yeah. All right, also, it's like a two and a half hour flight, 12, 15 hour drive, like, it's not that far at all. And flights are always really cheap to go between Atlanta and Minneapolis. I think it's because we're a hub for Delta there and Delta is like here. Their headquarters is here and Minnesota is a hub. So I think that, I don't know. It's just, you can fly for the low at all times. Like, um, <clears throat> also I really fucked with the fact that it's like my neighbors I got some cool neighbors, Florida over here, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee. Like I never even thought about going to these places besides Florida, but like I'm just in a cool place geographically. I really fuck with it. Also, I felt like moving to like thinking I, would, I never wanted to move to California, but like it was, it was just like not like, it didn't seem like too big of a goal. Like Atlanta, I felt like I could do that. Like that's not, it's not, it's like, you know, it's a leap. Boy, has it been a motherfucking sh leap stretch. Whew, chilly. I gotta make a video on about how my move has been. But um, that's for another time. I felt like, like, it's kind of like, Minnesota's very low key as far as like natural disasters and stuff like that. Like, we don't really get shit like that. And I feel like Atlanta's like that too. Like it's, I don't gotta worry about like, hurricanes or anything like that and if there is something i have to worry about then i don't know about it yet so we just not gonna worry about it that i just thought about is because i moved here for isolation purposes like i chose atlanta because i did not know anybody here like after moving here i realized that like okay i actually do know like one or two people here but <clears throat> i had never really been to atlanta i've been to atlanta maybe like two days of my life and um i had already been alone like making steps to be more and more alone like i was living alone in my apartment for the past three years in my loft and so like this step to be alone like it made me further alone but i needed this i needed to be alone and i wanted to be able to just like sit in my apartment and focus on graduating which i fucking did um and focus on building my business which i did um so yeah as much as i get crazy sitting in my apartment all day every day just working i'm like this is this was my plan so um yeah i just was really ready to just put myself in a corner see if i can find my way out <laughs> literally i know i gotta stop saying this i used to say this in interviews but i think that it, it's true but i don't really think that it's an appealing thing to certain people but um i always say that i jump in first learn how to swim after and there's actually a story behind that but um yeah literally that's the type of person i am like so my video just cut off but i'm glad that i noticed <clears throat> Um, but it's okay because I was like ranting anyways. I don't even remember what I was saying. So Yeah, no, don't remember. Anyways, thank you. I wish I could sing. <laughs> I really like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I really wanted to sing thank you, but I can't sing for anything. But like that's, that was like the emotions that you guys gave me as I really just wanted to try to sing for you guys. <laughs> See, I keep doing weird things. It's not even like me. Like I swear my friends are going to like watch this video and be like, you you're acting weird on there i am i'm just being weird all right it's only weird if you make it weird because i could and that's the goddamn truth literally i did it because i knew i could do it so ha i can't even flex this shit was hard like it was harder than i thought it would be i didn't again i didn't have expectations literally um but i of course i figured it was gonna not be easy but I think it's gonna be this goddamn hard like this shit was hard um definitely not uh definitely not for the week lastly okay you guys see this um if you have not noticed it's actually sideways 
I got this tapestry in Barcelona and I went to go hang it up and realized I hanged it up sideways and then I said fuck it oh well and that's just you know my attitude towards life like I'm really a carefree person you guys will get to know me a little bit maybe get to know me maybe I'll get to know some of y'all maybe I already know you maybe I'm guessing that if you're watching this that we probably know each other yeah yeah we probably know each other so what's up hi mom hey TJ that's my little brother that's my little baby brother um he's not a baby no more he's seven he's seven um but yeah I, you know what I'm, I'm um, but no, man, I appreciate everyone watching to this point. It's really helpful if you obviously like and subscribe, but to comment is like, mm, really helps me. And share this video because you guys want to be at cats. This is the night kitty. Oh, look at how cute she is. This is my brother. Yeah, this is my brother, baby. I love her. We had the photo shoot earlier. Why you look like that? Oh, here comes the other one. Here comes the beast. Here comes the beast. There's the Pharaoh. Yes, show them your face. Oh, you be sweet girl. There's the Pharaoh. All right. Thanks for watching. Y'all make me wanna sing. No, just sing. Y'all make me wanna sing. <laughs>